Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Modbus RTU TCP Remote I.O. Controller BX-MBIO Hardware. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So let's take a look at what we have here. And it's our box for our BX-MBIO-M, which is our BRIX or BRX Modbus TCP and RTU IO controller. And this particular model is a 120 volt AC. So let's open this up. And the first thing we'll notice is that we have our product insert. And that will explain a few uh, details, including the wiring, um, the power supply, we even have a, a link to our manual, you scan that. And on the back we have dimensions and mounting instructions. Okay, so then we open up the box and here is our actual unit itself. So a couple things to note, we have our um, looking at this unit, we have our RS-485 port for our Modbus, and it's a two-wire connection. We also have our RJ-45, uh, which is our Ethernet port. Then we have our connector here for our supply, and our supply can be anywhere from 85 to 264 volt AC. It's 40 volt amps. And then we also have our 24 volt supply voltage right on board here which is 300 milliamps for us we do have a palm connector here but it is not uh, available to us in this module then we have our indication lights we have a power light we have an okay light and an error light so they will uh, operate accordingly then we have underneath the top you'll see there's a compartment here which contains dip switch settings and those dip switch settings there are, there are eight of seven of them, or zero, eight of them, zero to seven. And we have, uh, this will determine the IO uh, unit number that we can select from here. Also, we can reset this or we can disable the configuration software from the web. So that we can, we will discuss that a bit later. Then off to the side, we have our connector that we can undo and this is where our expansion modules will be connected okay. so that's our connector on the side if we look at the back you can see that it is DIN rail mounted um, here we also have uh, loops up here that we can pop up and with the bottom one as well and we can turn this around and you can see that when we pan, we could actually panel mount this directly and use these tabs to actually screw that into our back panel. And they just pop back down again. And you can see that it will pop right onto a DIN rail and that'll lock it onto the DIN rail. So let's take a look at our expansion and we open that up and we can actually add different modules to this unit. So here I have my um, input and output module. It's a four in, four out. And it will actually snap into the side of this unit, just like that. And once again, it has the locking mechanism on the bottom for a DIN rail. Next, we'll add a analog input card snapping it in, there we go, and an analog output card. And then make sure that we have the end cover here back on. And what we can do is put this onto the DIN rail. So, and it will snap right into the DIN rail, just like that. So let's just uh, hold that up. And that is our 
unit as set fully assembled. And as we said before, we can actually have eight of these different units attached to this Modbus remote I.O. unit. And speaking of Modbus, we do have those two connectors. Now the RTU is our serial connector, which is RS-485. And 485 will transmit at a maximum speed of 112.2 uh, or 112,200 uh, bits per second and we can have up to 32 of these or 31 of these units remotely so we have 31 each with the eight cards on our uh, connected to that unit as a system then through the Modbus TCP and the protocol there we can have up to 247 of these units connected to a system. Now remember this is actually a, a slave unit um, or uh, a slave unit or you can call it a, uh, a server unit. So depending on which uh, technology you're using. So if you're using the serial then usually refer to as master slave which is 31 units that we can have. If we use the TCP or the um, the Ethernet port, I'm talking about Modbus, we are looking at calling it a client, which is the one initializing the communication, and a server, which is what this unit would be here, is a server. And again, we can have 247 of these on that Ethernet uh, system. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.